So this is the second part of my mini-series introducing the Xcolitraw plugin in Obsidian. And in this part, I'm going to uh, introduce to you some of the basic Xcolitraw features. So I think uh, you have already noticed this palette up here with different tools you can choose. And it is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you select a square and you can draw a square. Uh, you select a circle, you can draw a circle. Uh, it is all as expected. Uh, what I want to highlight is you see these small numbers here. So if I press five, that's the number for the arrow. Then I can go ahead and draw an arrow. In some cases, this is quicker. In terms of writing text, uh, I can either choose the text tool and then start typing or I can just simply double click and type and then I can create text. Uh, I want to draw your attention to this lock. This is a very helpful feature. So for example, if I want to draw uh, multiple uh, squares one after another, then I can press the lock and it will lock me in to the selected tool uh, here. If you right click on the drawing, then you have a context menu and I want to show you grid. If you bring up grid, uh, Xcolidraw will snap objects to grid as well uh, for sizing as for positioning. This is very helpful when you want to draw a quick diagram and uh, you want to make sure objects align and have uh, standard sizes. Also, you can set the background color and the stroke color. So right now the background is transparent for the object. If I go ahead and choose a different color, uh, you see I can uh, fill it with a certain color. You have different fill patterns uh, that you can play with or you can have a fill with uh, the color. The same with the stroke. Uh, you have different strokes uh, in terms of uh, the width of the stroke as well as the style of the stroke and the uh, lines used. So if you don't like this handwritten uh, looking uh, stroke then you can simply uh, choose uh, the straight uh, line here but uh, this is the architect type. But if you want a cartoonist, then you will see uh, that the line style changes. Um, similarly, I want to show you uh, in terms of the colors that you can change the background color of your paper as well. So you can choose from colors or in fact, you can uh, type in uh, your color as well in hexadecimal, so uh, that is an option. You have a dark mode and the light mode, so if I, this is now the light mode of the application, if I click the button, then it goes into dark mode and it inverts the colors such that they still uh, look uh, good. In terms of fonts, there are three uh, typefaces you can choose from and you can choose from them uh, here. So this is font family. This is the handwritten font. Uh, I can uh, choose a normal font and I can choose uh, this uh, coding font uh, as well. So that's uh, your three options. And finally, I want to show you how the lines and arrows work. And so first of all, the common feature of lines and arrows is if I double click on a line or an arrow, then it goes into an edit mode. And if I uh, hold down the Alt key, then I can add additional points uh, to the line. I can make the edges round or I can change the edge to be uh, squares as well uh, as I can change the arrow head if it is an arrow. Uh, so I can change it uh, to look like uh, this or well, you can see the different options. The difference between arrows and lines is arrows snap to objects. So let me just put here two objects and let's snap my arrow uh, to these objects. 
uh, to these two objects and when an object is snapped to uh, an arrow then uh, as you can see the arrow will move with the object and of course I could change this back to show you the arrow head and then uh, you can do this. The special feature of lines is if I draw this line and uh, oops sorry for that uh, if I draw this line and I double click I go into edit mode uh, I can uh, simply add uh, points to it and with the points uh, I'm, I'm a bit uh, clumsy here with the points you can create your custom shape uh, of whatever you like and so that's the special feature with lines you can create shapes with arrows you can snap to objects and that was all I wanted to show you in terms of the basic features thank you